Welcome to e know -how. In this video we will look at a RL high pass filter and we will calculate the magnitude, phase and the 3 dB frequency for this. So the RL high pass filter looks like this. You will have R and L in series and we will take the output across the inductor and the R is at the input. So this is V out here and Vn is here. So now if you write the transfer function for this, so V out over V in, it, it can be written as SL, which is the reactance of the impedance of the inductor, and then divided by R plus SL, because the output is dropped across the little inductor, the input is dropped across the series combination of the R and the L. So this can be written as, S we will divide both the numerator and the denominator with by R. So it will be S L over R divided by 1 plus S L over R. So this is in the form of uh, we have seen earlier S tau over 1 plus S tau. So where tau is the time constant. So you have a 0 at 0 and a pole at 1 over tau. So uh, the pole is 1 over L over R. That's where the pole is. So that is the uh, that is how it looks. And now we will kind of simplify it further. What we will do is we will for getting the magnitude what I will divide the numerator and the denominator with S L over R. So you would get it as 1 over 1 over S L over R plus 1. So which is nothing but 1 over 1 over J omega L over R plus 1 which is further simplified to 1 over the j in the denominator can go up and become minus j. So it's let me put the 1 first. 1, sorry, this has to be a minus here. So 1 minus j over omega l over r. So now from this equation, we can get both the magnitude and the phase. So the magnitude in dB, let me write it in dB would be 20 log to the base 10 1 over square root of 1 plus 1 by omega square L square over R square. Yeah, we take an example and calculate, you'll see a nice, uh, you know, you could do it in Excel and you can get this magnitude, how it varies with frequency. So this is how the magnitude of the RL high pass filter varies with frequency. Now if you write phase now, phase is minus, why do you put minus is because we are dealing with terms in the denominator, minus tan inverse and then you have the imaginary part of the real part. The imaginary part is 1 over omega L over R divided, that's minus actually, and then over 1. So tan inverse minus x is minus tan x, so the minus comes out and get cancelled with the other minus. So it would be tan inverse 1 over omega L over R. So this is the phase phase with respect to frequency, how it varies with the output. Now we got both of these and now we want to calculate the 3 dB frequency here. The 3 dB frequency when we said when the magnitude is the real magnet, the not in dB but the actual magnitude becomes 1 over root 2 or in the in the dB it will be minus 3 dB. That happens when omega square L square R square is 1 or 
that happens when omega L over R is equal to 1. So 2 pi F 3 dB. Uh, 2 pi F is omega L over R is equal to 1. So we can say omega naught is 1 over L over R. And then F3 dB will be equal to 1 over 2 pi L over R. So this is the uh, omega naught in radians and the F3dB in degrees. So F3dB is here. So this is similar to an RC circuit where RC is the time constant. So the RC came into the picture. Here L over R is the time constant. So the L over R came into the picture for calculating the 3dB frequency. Now if you look at the, the phase, uh, the magnitude, uh, the plot, it would look similar at at omega naught you would get a minus 3 dB and then from then on it increases goes to 0 dB and from here on it is a 20 dB per decade slope and it keeps falling so 20 dB per decade this is the magnitude plot this is the magnitude in dB with respect to frequency yeah, and this is a log scale. When we do Bode plots, it's always log scale on the frequency. Now, if you look at the, the phase, the phase would look similar to a high pass filter where initially it starts with zero and at, at omega naught, it is 45 degrees and 10 omega naught, we can approximate it to 90 and uh, 0 0.1 omega naught we can approximate it to 0 so it goes like this this is 90 degrees but in reality the curve we saw that it's going to look like it goes passes through the 45 it'll look like this so if you actually do the calculation for the phase using the tan inverse 1 over omega l over r so we, we can see the actual curve we can plot the actual curve so this is the rl high pass filter 